Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to iTrack, one of the coolest reaction channels on YouTube. Yep, it's that weekend flow. I have another interesting one for you today. Apparently Jamie Foxx is alive and well. A few very interesting UFO sightings and a whole lot of other interesting stuff. If you haven't been here before, what we'd like to do is take a look at a lot of these creepy and interesting TikToks and kind of evaluate for ourselves whether these are facts or fake. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, just in case you forget later on. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. I mean, that just didn't look all the way real to me. I, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call cap on that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Hidden camera found in hotel. Did you know that some of your favorite hotels have been sued for human trafficking? These are some of the few hotel chains that have been sued. This device will alert you if there is a camera near you. It also has a red light to see camera lens reflections. Yeah, that's super creepy. I saw a few clips about um, how a few people were finding secret passageways in different hotels and stuff like that. I left the link down below to go ahead and get that device if you see any benefit from it. I personally do. Um, Airbnbs and hotels, you know, you never really know. So why not have something to kind of cover yourself? Footage was taken about a week ago in Fort Lauderdale, Florida of a UFO. And no, it is not that light over there. It's gonna go across the middle of the screen here, so watch closely, right there. Now, I have slowed it down here a couple times so we can look at it a little better. I have an idea or two about what it might be, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. I definitely wasn't a shooting star. I haven't seen any fireworks that are advanced enough to do that. Just go up in the air, just stop. <laughs> so what else is that? I... First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages. I cannot even begin to tell you um, how, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. Um, uh, I went through something that I... I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with tubes uh, running out of me and, and trying to figure out uh, if, if I was gonna make it through. And to be honest with you, my uh, my sister Deidre Dixon, my daughter Corinne Marie saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. I cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way. And, and y'all know they kept it airtight. They didn't let nothing out. They protected me, and that's what I hope that everyone could have in moments like these. Uh, now, you know, by being quiet, sometimes things, you know, get out of hand. People saying what I got. Some people said I was, I was blind, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Uh, I said I was paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed, uh, but I did go through. I went to hell and back. And my road to recovery uh, had some potholes as well, but um, I'm, uh, I'm 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 coming back, 
and uh, I'm able to work. So I want to thank uh, uh, the people that let me work. Um, and I just want to like say uh, I, that I that I, I love everybody and I love all of the love that I got. And man, you know, I know they talk about people crying on videos. You know, you could do take two, but I'm not gonna do a take two. This it is what it is. And if you see me out. Uh, from now on and every once in a while I just burst into tears is because um, it's been tough man I was sick man but now I got my legs out, uh, under me so you're going to see me out uh, but like I said I just want you to remember me for uh, the jokes that I crack uh, the, the movies that I make some of them good some of them ain't I think I got a good one out uh, and the songs that I sing man and then you know, somebody was talking about I'm a clone. Well, check this out. Just kidding. Uh, not clone, man, but I, I'm here on earth because of some great people. I'm here on earth because of God, man. So I love all y'all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that uh, I'm on my way back in love. That look just like Jamie to me. Where's the laser? Is it? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, fucking way. No. Oh, yeah. Luego me lo pasas, carnal. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at this guy, we hope. What's that? Is it? My, my, my son. My son. My son. Hey, my son. Where is he? Look, you too. He's on my son. You got it the later or not? Yeah, yeah. Why aren't you getting it? I don't see it. It froze mine. Ship or ship on. Hey, that's creepy. Hi, this is Stephanie Miller with Freedom Realty, and today we're going to be taking a look at 2496 Valley Ridge in San Antonio, Texas. Let's go check it out. Come on. The house is a four bedroom, two bath, and roughly 1,500 square feet. Over here, we have the living area and a dining room. And then behind me to my right, you'll see a small study, also used as an office area or maybe a children's playroom. Hello? Oh yeah, that was that was real well put together. Meaning like that wasn't real, but like that was real well put together. You know? Okay, what do you think the plan is? Why do you think they want us in this this delusional state? That they want us stuck. They want us in this matrix. What do you think the overall plan is just to keep us? Uh, I just believe we are messing with a incubus and a succubus type of entity, and I think that this entity literally survive and thrive off of fear and off of blood and off of catastrophic of, of events i don't i don't believe that this whoever is even yielding forth this plan is human you know there's different type of species here on this earth and you know a lot of people think this is spookism but it's actually in a lot of classified documents that's ran down by the cia the government that's unclassified in these things for instance you know a lot of people 
believe that the reptilian movement or this new reptilian information is fake, but we have something called the reptilian part of our brains, which is the natural state of fight or flight to our brain. It's right up under the mam uh, the mammalian the mammalian brain. Mm -hmm. It's literally called the reptilian brain, and it's in it's basically in control of your desires, uh, basically sleep awakening hunger and having sex to reproduce so i believe that there's entities out here that want to control us to use us as a battery to to basically keep them thriving and surviving through the galaxies everybody is not here to exchange and share love and to grow humanity to expand consciousness uh there's something called duality whenever you create light darkness is a byproduct of that mm -hmm. whenever you see something beautiful there have to be a byproduct that look like something ugly you got hot cold you have up down you have water you have solids so you you have black you have white there's a polar opposite to each entity that ever lives inside of this reality so if we are the children of light then there have to be children of darkness and this war have been this war been here since the beginning of time just by creating creation you start conflict because you can't create nothing that doesn't have a polar opposite and they teach you this in biochemistry you have electrons that's negatively charged then you have protons that's positively charged mm -hmm. you have hydrogen that's charged then you have oxygen and if you add it to a hydrogen it become negatively charged so just us living and breathing inside of this universe you always going to have that opposite side or go to war with something and i just believe within my heart and everything I've been studying and researching that, that we are at a war with a people that's not a people and this is spiritual warfare and the reason why they're doing what they're doing is because they need our energy, they need our essence they need our blood and they need our currency to survive and to thrive in this here realm. So the ultimate goal for them is to use us as batteries uh, in layman terms for us to be slaves That's what we are yes, well, Yeah, that's what, that's what they are Hopefully after this podcast, they won't be though. Hey, now that's a fact. Duality is a fact of life. You can't escape that. You can't have good without bad. You can't have light without the dark. So he was dropping gems. Starbucks takes you for a fool with this genius marketing technique. I don't know if you've ever been to Starbucks, but when you buy a drink there, they always ask for your first name so they can write it on your cup. I'll have you know that their strategy begins right at that moment. Even though you give them your first name 90% of the time, they'll mess up your name by spelling it wrong on purpose. And you're probably wondering what's the point of all this. So let me reassure you right away. No, the salespeople at Starbucks aren't illiterate. And no, they're not doing this to make fun of you. In fact, it's a highly effective communication strategy. And to understand how it works, all you have to do is look at people's reactions. When someone sees that their first name has been butchered, they'll burst out laughing and post it on social networks to show just how much they've been disrespected. And that's a jackpot for Starbucks because it's free publicity. In reality, Starbucks have found a way to gain visibility every day without spending a single euro. I analyze a new marketing move every day, so subscribe to not miss the next one. Now that kind of makes sense, actually. These are the top. F I didn't even know squids were like that. Like, hundred packs of a thousand? That's too deep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here are three health facts that might just save your life. Number one, the first four hours of your sleep, ideally between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., are the most crucial for the repair mechanisms in your body and for weight loss as well. This is when we secrete the highest amount of our human growth hormone. This is really important for mitochondrial health as well. Number two, seeing the sun in the morning. So that sunrise sun, really important for signaling your melatonin for later in the day for sleep, but helps your serotonin levels, so your feel-good hormones for the day by seeing that early morning sunlight. And number three, your toxic thoughts are 10 to 100 times more harmful than your healthy or unhealthy diet or your exercise or lack of exercise. Follow for more natural health tips. Hey, now that's one to grow on right there. What you, what you think is more powerful than what you eat. <laughs> hey, me. Nah, man, nah, nah. Oh my god. Oh my god, Justin, is that a clown? What? What is that? Justin, is that a clown? Is this really happening? Turn up the stupid radio off. Justin, no, get back in the car. What's going on? What are you doing? Oh my god. He's running. Get in the car. Hang up the f call 911. What do you think he was about to get out of his car and do? A town in South Carolina. Police in Greenville County are creeped out after several claims of a clown or clowns trying to lure children into the woods. According to a police report, children told officers clowns had displayed large amounts of money. The children also said the clowns lived in a house located near a pond at the end of a man-made trail in the woods. Police have gone to the house but have not been able to find any clothing or anything. Now, this place here is... There's something going on here. People are running. Keep We're going to... Okay. Okay. People are running away. We have... Let's get bus. People are running. People are shooting, maybe. I just heard a... Go, go. I don't know what it is, but... What is it? I don't know. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's like the only time it's okay to follow the crowd. If you see a crowd of people running the other way, <laughs> you should probably get out of there too. You are letting this out slowly so that society can get used to it? That's one part of it. Uh, one part is also so that we get the user feedback and we can develop more robust safety layers before we build, before we deploy more capable models. Of the AI issues we talked about, the most mysterious is called emergent properties. Some AI systems are teaching themselves skills that they weren't expected to have. How this happens is not well understood. For example, one Google AI program adapted on its own after it was prompted in the language of Bangladesh, which it was not trained to know. We discovered that with very few amounts of prompting in Bengali, it can now translate all of Bengali. So now all of a sudden, we now have a research effort where we're now trying to get to a thousand languages. I'm not sure I want my AI teaching itself to be smarter than me. Marketing secret Red Bull used to become the leader in energy drinks. It all began when Red Bull arrived in London with a simple aim, to introduce their drinks to London's young partygoers and convince them that it's the ideal drink to keep them going all night. At the time, however, the market was highly competitive and Red Bull had a very limited budget, so they had to find a way to make a name for themselves while spending as little money as possible. You'll see that they came up with a very original idea which is a bit like manipulation, so I really don't recommend using it. They've simply decided to make use of London's garbage cans by filling them with empty Red Bull cans. Thanks to this devious trick, when people threw their garbage into these garbage cans, they were surprised to see that they were filled with Red Bull cans. The result of this stroke of genius, people rushed out to buy the drink that everyone seemed to be craving. 
Red Bull managed to manipulate people into believing that everyone was drinking its new drinks. Psychological bias is called social proof. I analyze new marketing moves every day, so subscribe to not miss the next one. Moving this ladder would literally spark a war. It has already been moved twice, let me explain. This ladder is located in the old city of Jerusalem, beneath a window of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This church is said to house the two holiest sites in Christianity, the site of Christ's crucifixion and the site of his resurrection. And it's for this reason that several Christian orders dispute ownership of the church. It is currently shared between the six orders you see here. In short, it's a real mess, and for it to work, rules are needed. This division has been in place since an agreement in 1757 that imposes a status quo in the church. That means nothing can be moved or changed without the unanimous agreement of the six orders that share the church. And that's where it gets very funny, because the orders don't agree with each other much, so the agreement is adhered to down to the last letter, without any exceptions. In 2002, an old monk moved a chair a few inches to sit in the shade. That's when it turned into a general brawl in the church. The immovable ladder has thus become the ultimate symbol of divisions within Christianity. In fact, it was simply forgotten by a worker in 1728, and it was still there in 1757 when the sharing agreement was decided. It therefore cannot be moved without the unanimous agreement of the six orders, which almost never happens. In 1981, a man tried to steal it, but he was immediately arrested by the police. In 97, a prankster managed to steal it and hide it. Immediately, tension began to rise between the six orders in the church. The man eventually felt guilty and returned it to its place a week later, before things got out of hand. Want more videos? Then subscribe. Talk about beef from way back. Like, that's that's wild. Have you ever heard of third man syndrome? No. no. Okay, super, super weird. So third man syndrome has been explained uh, by scientists of kind of a weird phenomenon that happens with mountain climbers. So these people who are climbing on mountains who are on the edge of death have experienced very similar things unrelated to each other where they see a person that motivates them or gives them proper advice to continue moving forward. And there are people like, my parents weren't mountain climbing, but this happened and it cannot be explained. And then I found a story and it was this woman who had heard a voice in her head that said go see a doctor about your brain go to this place it was a specific part of the london hospital that dealt with brain injuries the voices told her that she had a tumor <gasps> they discovered a tumor oh my gosh and they were able to remove it and then she continued to leave and then when she That's went wild. home she heard the voice one more time for the rest of her life and it said we were glad to be of service you weird I think that's more common than we know uh, I think a lot of us get that voice to, that gives us encouragement so everybody that Tory Lanez has added to his council of lawyers, I personally appointed to him. They were all against him from the beginning. We, we, we paid them to botch his trial. We, every, all the jurors that were there, we paid them as well. It was all an acting scene. Everybody there outside of Kelsey Nicole was a paid actor. Megan Thee Stallion was a paid actor. The jury was a paid actor. The judge is a paid actor. So, as far as Tory Lanez, he had a problem with some some practices that we have in the industry. He, he said he would expose us. So, you, what do you guys like to say? You say, don't front your move or you will get stretched. He fronted his move on, move on what he was going to do to us, so we basically stretched him. We put we we took his life away from him, and Megan Thee Stallion helped us do that. We we sent her her his way, and promised her another level in her career, and that was her sacrifice for her to get to her next level, and that is why she's been so quiet lately. Every time somebody has a sacrifice, we tell them to go quiet for a few years and then come back after everyone forgets. And it, it always works. I explained that when you give me your name and your birthday, the beauty of numerology is this. Your birthday tells you why you're here, what you're here to learn. It is your name that tells you what you must know. One of the best books to really break that down is... Uh, Numbers decoded, cards unfolded. 
uh, which is actually uh, Jackie Levine. If you read her book, the way it is illustrated, I mean, it's such an excellent, excellent breakdown in terms of how you do it. But it is your birthday. So when the, you know what hit the fan, the why me, you take the month, the day, and the year you're born. It's called it life path, birth path, destiny number. So when I'm reading a client, I don't assume that they know these jargons. And I'll say that your birthday indicates you in the Let's say a person's month day and year adds up to a six, like I read a person today, uh, February the 20th of 1982. Well, their destiny is a six. So instead of them saying, well, you got a six destiny, and they may say, huh, or life path or birth path, where they say, huh, I says the month, the day, and the year you're born, because I explained you are here to learn something. And I said that that, in this case, represents you in the sixth grade in the school of life. Now, we all know what the school of life represents as adults anyway, okay? We know that when we are in a class of any grade, we got to learn something in order to be successful if we want to move on to the next grade. So I found that there are certain terms that if are not familiar to you, I try to simplify it. And so it means what we're here to learn, what we're here to master over the course of our journey from the, from the womb to the tomb, from the time we get here to the time we go to the other side of the rainbow, so to speak. But it is your name that represents all of your talents and gifts and skills and abilities and inner knowing about things. And it is your name that will actually draw zodiac signs to you and also draw dates of births. I have found, for example, that um, the name that you are given or often reflecting the name of the zodiac sign or the birth number of the person. So let's say we say, take the name Cynthia. So that tells me either her parents, one of them, mother or father, or children or offsprings, whatever the case is, or brothers and sisters, because under the Chaldean system, the name Cynthia adds up to the number two, okay? So it tells me, A, that one of her parents could have either been a Cancerian or in a minor way, a Taurus, or born on the second, the seventh, the 11th, the 16th, the 20th, the 25th, and the 29th of the month. Got that right. Give you an example in my case. My name Lloyd under the Chaldean system adds up to the number nine. Okay. Nine represents Aries. That happens to be my father's sign. It represents the sign of also Scorpio. That happens to be my brother's sign. And it also has a sex rotation because nines and ones are the be alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. And Leo, which happens to be my sister's zodiac sign so what i'm saying is your name has more power than you can imagine and it is your name folks that draws the people to you by way of either their zodiac signs and or their dates of births well if you guys there goes another one in the books glad to see jamie's doing all right hope you guys have a great weekend appreciate you guys for stopping by Per usual, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Join the iTrack fam, the most active community in YouTube. And that's a fact. I will definitely catch you guys on the next one.